Hello everyone and welcome to Baidu's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. In this session, we will be discussing a very important topic and that is five new judges of Supreme Court have been appointed very recently and their names are Justice Manoj Mishra, Justice Pankaj Mittal, Justice P.V. Sanjay Kumar, Justice Sanjay Kirol and Justice Ahsanuddin Amarullah. So we will be discussing about these, uh, what are the important questions around it, the articles dealing with it and all. So you can see a very recent article talking about Supreme Court gets five new judges, Chief Justice administers the oath. So uh, first of all, uh, we'll be discussing some questions because of course they can ask uh, questions related to this topic in the recent, uh, the upcoming exams. Who appoints the judge of Supreme Court? Your options are President of India, the Chief Justice of India, the Collegium, the Vice President of India. Your time starts now. So I'm asking who appoints? So you must be aware of it that the appointment of a judge of a Supreme Court is done by precedent on the recommendation of a collegium. So the answer is one is the right answer to this question. And recommendation is of collegium, but it is not correct to use the word that collegium uh, appoints the judge. So the judge of a Supreme Court is appointed by the president of India. So A is the right answer to this question. Now the next one is which articles deals with the appointment of Supreme Court judges. So your options are article 124, article 151, article 191, Article 217. Your time starts now. So, आपको ये बताना है कि भारत के संविधान की कौन सा अनुच्छेद सुप्रीम कोर्ट के जजेस के अपॉइंटमेंट से रिलेटेड है। So, the right answer to this question actually is Article 124 is the right answer to this question. So, you can see it here: establishment and constitution of Supreme Court. There shall be a Supreme Court of India consisting of Chief Justice and until Parliament by law describes a larger number of more, not more than seven. So, originally there were one Chief Justice and seven judges. Now we have increased this limit. So every judge of Supreme Court shall be appointed by the President of India. Yes, that is the key that I wanted to show you because of course there can be questions in the recent exams about the appointment of a Supreme Court judge. Uh, it is in consultation with the uh, judges of Supreme Court etc. Now this has been clearly defined by second judges case as collegium. I hope you are aware there is a five member collegium which actually recommends the name to the president for appointment of a Supreme Court judge and all. So that is why you should be aware of this article 124. Uh, if you want to know, please read after the class is over, read about first judges case and second judges case. At least read these two. And if you have time, you should read the third judges case as well. Okay. Because these are actually very important ones. Okay. Yes. Now let's talk about another question. Who administers the oath of a Supreme Court judge? Since we are talking about the appointment of a Supreme Court judge, we are asking about the who administers the oath. Your options are President, Chief Justice of India, Prime Minister of India or Pre Vice President. Your time starts now. What is the right answer? The oath of a Supreme Court judge is administered by whom? If you have seen the live streaming, uh, you can answer it very easily. Yes, the right answer is it's Chief Justice of India. So the president appoints the Supreme Court judge, but the oath is actually administered by the Chief Justice of India. If you have seen the live streaming, uh, which is done by the Supreme Court's, uh, actually uh, Supreme Court's website, or uh, you can say, uh, you must have seen this image. Actually, this is the Chief Justice of India, Justice D.Y. Chandrachud. And this is the Supreme Court, uh, the newly appointed judge, Justice Sanjay Karol. Sanjay Karol. So that is how you should be knowing uh, how who administers. So actually administers means the Chief Justice of India reads the oath and he follows it. Actually the judge uh, the follows it. So that is why you must be aware of it. Uh, you can see five new Supreme Court judges take oaths. The strength rises to 32 with two vacancies and all. Now there's a question. What is the total strength of the Supreme Court? Your options are 33, 34, 35, 31. So your time starts now. So means in total, how many judges can be there in Supreme Court that you are supposed to answer. So the right answer to this question actually is uh, B is the right answer. It is 33 plus 1, total 34. Why I am saying 33 plus 1? Because this plus 1 is Chief Justice of India. So Chief Justice of India is also a judge, but he is a head. So we call it as 33 plus 1, which is 34. Of course, the captain, let's say in a cricket team, there is a captain and we write 10 plus 1 in a cricket team. So of course, this plus one is also a captain, is also a team member, right? So in the similar fashion, the Chief Justice of India is also a judge of Supreme Court. So B is the right answer here. And that is why I have shown you here the five new judges take oath. Now we are having 32 judges, two vacancies. So if you add 32 plus 2, it becomes 34. So total 34 strength is there. 
but there are still two vacancies means two no new judges can also be appointed okay so that is why you should be knowing it and one more thing is that we are running a CLAT 2024 comprehensive program and uh, for this uh, I hope you are aware the exam is going to happen in December 2023 so we are providing a 300 plus recorded videos 300 plus hours of live session 35 plus mock tests etc if you have any query call on this number 953-889-5688 per you can call on it okay and there's a free workshop on 12 February at 7 p.m. with Abhimanyu sir. Uh, the link is given in the description. Link in description from where you can register for this course, uh, this class. This is a free session and that would be very helpful in actually understanding uh, how to prepare for the class and all. Okay. So this is all about today's class. Please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram and download the Baiju's exam prep app. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.